I typically see what I do musically as just singing songs. For me, it's more about how compelling the song is to me. And they're all stories and characters that I like to go in and out of. And I'm trying to step into that space also when I think about different mediums, different disciplines of art. As the years have gone by, I've tried to bring everything together in the work that I do. For instance, with a project of mine called Ogress, we're making it into an animated feature-length film with some of my drawings as the original sketches. And when we do the show, we have visual art in the background accompanying the story. And I think as things go on with my career and with my creative process, I want to include a lot more visual art in what I do and choose songs not based on the genre that they're in. I think this is going to be a good opportunity to do both of those things. With this series of concerts, I'm looking to show the breadth of my music and showcase all the different bands that I get to play with. So a big part of this is the different collaborators that I uh, have had the joy and luck to be able to work with over these years. One of the concerts I'll be doing will be a quartet concert in Zankel. That repertoire sort of gets chosen in the moment a lot of the time. There's a lot of improvisation even within deciding what song comes next. There's some standards, there's some forgotten gems. It's going to be one of the looser shows that we're going to have in this series. I'll also be playing a duo concert with Sullivan Fortner. He's really fun. It's always a lot of fun to play with him. Sometimes we learn a song backstage and do it. Sometimes we do a new song that we've never played on stage because someone requests it. So it can really get a little crazy. <laughs> I've just for a very long time wanted to sing these classic standards in this very lush environment. So in Stern, I will be singing with a symphonic orchestra and we'll be doing arrangements by Darcy James Argue of ballads. It'll be mostly standards, mostly American Songbook and adjacent. It's a big production and so it's, it's really a privilege to be able to do it at all, I think. Carnegie Hall to me as a musician is like hallowed ground. We've arrived. I certainly feel that way when I'm there.